The Jamaica Civil Service Association, JCSA, has welcomed the opening of an air ambulance hub in Jamaica, which will see an aircraft permanently placed at the Tinson Pen Aerodrome. The hub will be used if and when there is need for any JCSA employee to be flown to seek emergency medical attention. According to First Vice President of the JCSA, Robert Chung, through its group membership program with EMED Jamaica, government workers can now have quicker access to medical attention, not only overseas, but in Jamaica. Access to health care through being able to get to where you can get that kind of treatment that you need. And um, Duane just mentioned that it's not only about taking you uh, out of Jamaica for treatment, there's also the ability to transport you within Jamaica so that wherever you are and whatever your needs, we can get you there. And guess what is happening? As civil servants, we can afford it. JCS employees were given an opportunity to observe the state of the art equipment on the aircraft, which are designed to make travel for critical patients comfortable. One noting that most patients have traveled overseas, CEO of EMED Jamaica, Duane Boyce, says the air ambulance will also be used for intra-island emergency travel. Uh, patients from one side of the island to the other. Um, I personally have made the, uh, the trip across the island on an ambulance and uh, I know it was uh, extremely uncomfortable and jostled. So uh, if you have a trauma patient with a back injury or something like that, it's probably not the, uh, the preferred uh, way of transportation. But this aircraft behind us could land into uh, Ian Fleming International, could land into the smaller runways uh, throughout the country and, and transport patients from one side over to uh, Kingston so they could access some of the services at Andrews and Winchester uh, and or the University Hospital.